Welcome to the Five on Five. We are pleased to be joined today by Deborah Allen and Jackson Mickelson here to talk about the Country Crossings Music Festival. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having us. Glad to be here. It is hard to believe that we're just 55 days away from the start. It's incredible. <laughs> it's sneaking up on us. Everybody's just circling it on their calendar, waiting for it to, uh, to get here. You guys are both performing and emceeing the event. Yes. Let's maybe start with you, Jackson, first. You're from Corvallis. How fun is it for you to be a part of something this big? Well, it's, it's honestly pretty pretty incredible to me to be able to grow up in Oregon and be, there's not a whole lot of country artists here, so to be a country artist and then end up moving to Nashville and getting a record deal, and then to come back and to be able to be a part of an event like this at, Cres at Country Crossings is pretty awesome. So to, I get to MC the event with Deborah and perform. It's, it's going to be a really exciting time in Southern Oregon. Maybe not a lot of country artists, but plenty of country music fans because I know the tickets are going fast. Deborah, you performed around the world. You've had hit yes. songs, written number one singles. How did you connect with the music festival? I connected with the music festival through Don Lieber, who is amazing. He's like commander, central organization. I mean, he is just the one who's at the helm of it all. And I met up with him a couple of years ago. He heard me on the radio and for some reason just had a connection with me and invited me to be a part of those, the festivals. And that's the year that I met you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we just hit it off. And I knew when I met Jackson that his star was definitely gonna rise. So it's really cool to be, you know, co-hosting on the stages together. I think you guys will make a good team. I think well, so. You. All right, so three stages. Talk a little bit about the range of talent. Well, it's, it's all from beginning artists, like new artists just, just coming up on the scene in Nashville all the way up to, you know, Chris Stapleton, who is selling more, more records than anybody right now. So well, there's a lot, a lot oh, of different talent. It's amazing. And the Sunrise Stage, what's so cool about it is, you know, you're going to see a lot of brand new artists, but you might be seeing the next Garth Brooks or Jackson Mickelson. You never know. Very cool. Well, we've got plenty more to talk about, but we're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are pleased to be joined once again by Deborah Allen and Jackson Nicholson here to talk about Country Crossings Music Festival, both performing and emceeing the event. Thank you so much for being here. Glad to be Thank here. Thank you so much for having us. It's our pleasure. Deborah, you have a history with Elvis. Can you tell us a little story about yes, that? Yes, I was born and raised in Memphis. I mean, and Elvis was always in our midst. But when I was just a little kid, about three years old, my parents had an automobile upholstery shop. And George Klein, who was a big radio personality and went to school with Elvis, said, hey, El, you need to go check out Leon Thurman's automobile upholstery shop. They're great. So the next thing you know, the Memphis Mafia was all swarming over my parents' shop. And they couldn't get anything done because it was just too much excitement. So he brought the bus home, and I wound up camping out in Elvis's bed. And, I'm, you know, it's kind of every, every girl's dream. But My goodness. It, you know, the thing about it is that the end of that story is that when Elvis passed away, since he was so near and dear to all of our hearts in Memphis, I just didn't feel compelled to go walking through Graceland. I felt like it was such sacred ground. Yeah. But I was um, called to perform there um, two or three years ago. And uh, have you ever been to Graceland? I haven't. I'd sure like to. Bucket oh, list. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> when, when you go through the gates of Graceland, when you touch your foot through that front door, at least for me, I just felt his spirit just enfold me. And I could just see his life unfolding as I walked through every room of the house. I could see him and his friends, and I could see, you know, his sadness, just his whole life. You felt him there, and it wouldn't get off of me. Even on my drive back to Nashville, I kept telling my husband, I was just saying, wow. That was amazing. And suddenly I thought, hey, Amazing Graceland. So that's the song that's on my new album. And it's kind of near and dear to my heart. And I, you know, I'm definitely a Memphis girl. I love Nashville, though. I mean, that's where I live, but yeah. I love having grown up in Memphis. You tell a few stories like that on the stage, you're going to have the whole crowd excited. <laughs> that's good. That's for sure. And talking about some of the other activities that will be taking place, is there something for everybody here? There definitely is. It's it's great. Some festivals, they're just there's no place to escape the heat. But with this festival, it's going to be awesome. There's lots of areas indoor where you can find shade, and so it's going to be really great for the whole family. With the with the Bymart Amphitheater, there the new Bymart Bymart Amphitheater there, and then also having the main stage across the way, and there's just a lot of different places for vending and all that. There's going to be great food, great oh, activities, gosh, and, yeah. and there's even a place <laughs> for is. kids, right? Yeah, there's a toddler zone. Okay. And I mean, it is going to be incredible. And the sunrise stage, I love. Love it because it's right on that lake. It's it's an amazing place. 
55 days and counting. Where yes. can people get all the information about this upcoming event? Go to cxfest.com and all the information for the festival is there. And uh, you can see all the, the artists line up, everything, as well as camping information, all of that. So make sure you go get your tickets now because yes. they are, they're moving quick. They're going fast. <laughs> That's what we've been hearing. Well, yeah. thank you both so much for being here. It's going to be a great you. event. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.